this real we quick. are live we yeah. are live we yeah. are live what's up everyone <laughs> here we are to do the the freaking this is, uh, this yeah. is it. <laughs> the freaking death of that man <laughs> oh shit you got yours i got mine this is a 2.0 uh, it doesn't make your ass smoke i don't know what will <laughs> <laughs> We've been we, before we hit record. We've been on this thing for about a half hour, just dreading like hitting that record button, <laughs> <laughs> like buying time. We're all having conversations. Hey, how's the family? How's the freaking uh... <laughs> anything? To, uh, let me click on Facebook here real quick. The things that we do for fun, yeah, and all for the love of metal. Yeah, Who check said us out. The... We're just check getting started. Out... <laughs> yeah, check this out. Last night I had some of this. Like, have you heard of this Hellfire? You ever get these Hellfire hot sauces? It's no, good. that looks good though. Yeah, they got a lot of cool different yeah. brands. They got like ones with like blueberries and and reaper. Oh, you know what? I have a blue. Um, I don't know if it's by them, but I do have a blueberry uh, reaper. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not sure it's by them though. But yeah. uh, they got cool like little uh, pictures too, and like little characters and shit. <laughs> this is yeah, called Angry Orange. Cool. So have you tried it yet? Yeah, I had just a little bit last night. On like, uh, so I have this. I didn't know they made it, but they have popcorn. It's like a uh, hot and hot and spicy popcorn, you know, kind of like the flaming hot chips, but they have flaming hot popcorn that you could, you know, pop in your microwave or whatever. So then I d dabbled some of this on it as well, and I just had like a little bit, man, and my mouth was freaking on fire last night just from this. So I can't imagine what we're gonna be <laughs> doing. <with this>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I did the actual um, Carolina Reaper chili. You know. Okay. I actually had the fresh one, and it like, was like an actual, really, really. About like a real raw chili. Yeah, Damn. it was. It was painful. I won't lie. That was probably <laughs> the most painful hot thing I ever had, Damn. and I, I thought I was gonna have to, you know, I thought I was gonna have to go to the emergency room. Yeah, <laughs> got all lightheaded and all crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> the tums, the, the, so, so the now you're scaring me. Fire in my stomach. Yeah. See, <laughs> see now you're scaring me because the rules say okay. So let's let's go through the little heat level here before we get started. It says <laughs> the first one is just getting started, and their idea of mild is Carolina Reaper with chocolate brutla. Is that how I'm saying it right? Brutla. Pepper? Yeah, which is basically a ghost chili. I thought. Really? But anyways. But then, when did Carolina Reaper become mild? <laughs> yeah, right. So this must be for the hardcore freaking chili guys. Yeah. Right? And then warming up is the is the packet number two, and that's, that's even mild. Carolina Reaper and ghost chilies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're still considered that as mild. Then it gets medium. So then we got Carolina Reaper on level three, seven pot brain strain peppers. Am I saying that right? Seven pots. Never heard of it, but yeah, there must be like a nickname for it or something. Because I know yeah. there's then number four that is when the pain sets in. Two times Carolina, two times of Carolina Reaper in the seven pot Dougler peppers, or Dougla. Is that what I'm saying right? Dougla, yeah. Then the final one, the Death Nut. Two exactly. times Carolina Reaper, freaking Maruga Scorpion, thirteen million Scoville heat units, and it says. Stupid hot. Yeah, <laughs> stupid <laughs> hot. <Yeah>. Stupid hot. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, are we expecting the Death Nut Challenge? Yes, you are expecting the Death Nut Challenge. That's what we're here for. And we're going to watch, try to get through metal videos that Paul suggested. So, you know, me and Paul, we go way back to our high school days. I always tell the story that we brought. he brought us back to his house and showed us his record collection. And, you know, I discovered destruction through him, which I have the shirt on, and Exodus. And. You know, because before that, we were listening to just cheesy metal, I guess, or just metal that, that wasn't extreme like that, you know. And so he was good at introducing me to new stuff. So he's, he picked out some videos for me to check out that some of the, some more like what, newer bands like? Would you uh, say? Uh, old like, bands and new bands combination or yeah. old bands with some uh, newer, newer material that's, uh, you know, yeah, really uh really cool and good to listen to like bands that are like not older than because you know the bands that we sort of grew up on are still putting out music but they're like 40 years old and whereas like these bands are they're still considered new to us because they're probably 20 even though they're like 20 years old or 25 years old you yeah know? <laughs> but they're still um you know there's there's a band in there that's uh it's only a couple of years old but uh Which some of the that? musicians in it's been around for 30 mm -hmm. plus years yeah know? what band was that hypocrisy is that the one that um Actually, uh, um, 
Go Ahead and Die, actually. Um, okay. That's yeah, they... actually uh, got uh, Max Cavalera in it. Okay. Tour and Soulfly. And it's actually uh, a band with him and his son. Mm. So it's, it's um, they're both playing guitar and, and doing vocals on it. Okay. Uh, one, of, one of his sons, because his other son actually plays drums for Soulfly. But uh, mm. Go Ahead and Die is, is awesome. It's a classic death metal band, like, you know, like back in the 80s. It's, it's just a, an yeah. awesome band. I, I really, really enjoy them. Um, this is, you know, their debut album, you know, and uh, it's got some really catchy music to it. I'm tempted to buy that Max Kerr. I think he's got a new album. That he did. It's either coming out or it just came out. And uh, But the album cover looks really cool, and that's why I'm kind of tempted to get it because I haven't heard nothing. I like that. all the Cavalera stuff, especially yeah. the Cavalera conspiracy and all that. Um, I'm not that much of a big fan of the 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 new Sepultura or the Sepultura without Max. Um, yeah, yeah. It. Um, I love the music, but uh, the vocals. I've always been a you know. I yeah. was in Sepultura before they even tour here. Yeah, who's their and, new singer? Uh, I guess some guy is. Is he in black? Uh, Derek Green. He's a good singer, but mm. it's, to me, when I hear Sepultura, I I expect to hear you know Max singing on yeah. it. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and it's uh, it's it's hard for me to try to listen to the new Sepultura without Max because I mean yeah. they're they're great, but mm. it, to me it's just it's just not Sepultura. Yeah, <laughs> you know Max was probably the sound of Sepultura, especially that time for us. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. Singer becomes like a sound of some. Bad, it's know. like listening to Judy's Priest without uh, Rob mm. Halford. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what about this? Have you heard this band called Next Next Room or Next Room? No, that's a cool album cover. Yeah, that's so. This is like you know how we always used to do like buy albums just based on the yeah, cover. based on the album cover. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah. I saw this on YouTube and I was like, I gotta have that like the freaking cover. But uh, I guess they're black metal. I, I think they're on that black metal channel that's on YouTube that that always uh, introduces new black metal bands and stuff. And, um, but they don't cool, have like a yeah. black metal image. But yeah, there's a, apparently I guess yeah. they got a couple albums out. So yeah, no, it's I haven't, like, I haven't it's popped like, it on the spin. I haven't put it on the record player yet, but. Uh, <laughs> But I heard like one song, and it's like Jude said, you know, you would drive us to the record store, and we would all rush in and see yeah. and find the best looking album and the best sounding, and uh -huh. you know, it was good times, you know. Yeah, like, maybe we'd we, trade them and shit. We didn't, we didn't have, you know, the sources to tell us what's coming out. We just yeah. went there, you know, every Friday after school, you know, mm -hmm. we rush down there and then yeah. see what we can find and flip through the records and. That's cool it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got some pretty lousy ones, and yeah, got... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you still do you still have any of my records? You think like because we we did a lot of trading, like you know, we always, like you always had your records, you had mine, and we had like Tony had some of yours, you had some of his, and yeah, I still uh, got I got a lot of records, a yeah. lot of records, yeah. Uh, I think I probably got a little bit of everybody's. I mean, I yeah. even got like. You know, like some of the Cinderella's still in there, like mm. the old Cinderella, which yeah. I like. The uh, the first Cinderella album, I really like that. Yeah, album, yeah, about that again on vinyl. So I was jamming that not too long ago. I even got album. one of your favorites, you know, Winger in there. Oh yeah, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's shocking. I just bought that Winger, that new Winger album. I actually bought it because like their music sounds pretty good now. <laughs> well, like... you know, I mean, I always like the music. But, I mean, I always Red Beach is a really good guitar player. Yeah. Yeah. Know, and I, you know, and he's yeah, always like this. with White Snake. Yeah, and, I always like Red Beach, but some reason, old Winger be like, she's only savage. Yeah, I just couldn't get into that. Like, yeah, and then, and then he never played his bass. He'd always just like look like he would like you know fake his bass playing, but he's actually really, Yeah, <laughs> but he's actually a really good musician and good song. Yeah. Writer. <laughs> now I want to go back and listen to some of their albums that are more recent that that I've missed. You know, over the I know they got some more albums before the one they put out just recently, but um. Yeah, it's a good album. Good, yeah. good stuff. Before yeah. any judging, that's what we listened to before we, you know, started yeah. getting into, you know, thrash. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that was the heavy stuff. <laughs> that was the heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it All went right. from rock to the metal. You know, <laughs> what did we call it? The cock rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cock I'm rock. Throwing him. <laughs> rock out with your cock out. <laughs> Now, yeah. bands, now they call it hair metal, which is like, oh, man, we were just calling it metal back then. You know, <laughs> you you were mentioning is like, how did that come about? I, I think it's Series XM, man, because they mean that yeah. stations call hair metal or hair. Yeah. Nation, 
you know. Like Hair Nation, but yeah, I think it's they probably yeah. Point, yeah. And they were calling it hair metal, so that's probably mm-hmm. probably where it came from. You know? Yeah, came from the 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 generation after ours, I think, pretty much. And, pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. They just had to like. But then the, every every term had a was considered derogatory. There was a time when heavy metal was considered like derogatory. Like if you're a band like you know like Black Sabbath used to not like the term heavy metal. They used to be like that's just like that's rubbish. You know that means your music's not you know. So that's why when people like are down about hair metal, they're saying that's kind of like degrading the musicianship that was actually around for those kind of bands like Wasp and Motley Crue and all those. <laughs> I know Ozzy doesn't like the term heavy metal. And he's always call it yeah like Ozzy. Yeah, he's never like, used the term metal really. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's rock and roll, but you know, but then we everybody still credits, you know, and, yeah. and rightfully credit Black Sabbath as the you know the father. Mm-hmm. Of, yeah, <laughs> but like when I think of hair metal, I think of bands like Skid Row or Trickster, like those bands that kind of came after like the eighty nine, eighty eight, and maybe early nineties or whatever, like bands like Badlands, you know, where all the guys always had their hair parted to the side and they're like, yeah, boots on. like that's to me that's. I would consider that to be hair metal more than you know. That's true. That's true. Whereas like bands in the '80s, I think they were more like just glam metal, like you know, like Poison or or Rat. And to me, that's like more like glam metal or glam rock. Yeah, Rat didn't really have big hair. Yeah, they just had. They Close really this was probably um, what uh, Robin Crosby. Yeah, was, I mean, they didn't really have big hair. And, yeah, it was more of these flashy looks. You know. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and mm-hmm. I noticed they'll play like. Tesla on there, and they didn't really have big hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I think you guys are kind of confused on the term there, you know. People are thinking these guys are just buying time because they know they're they know the inevitable is coming up. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I probably should open this box. Oh and- man, we got to Yeah, open your box up because we got level one. So here's how it goes. Level one is considered mild, and in it we got Carolina Reaper and what is the other? Pepper it is in it. So uh, do we down this whole pack? Yeah. So apparently, so the rules is uh, there's no liquids or food allowed until the completion. So we can't, even though like just in case of, of, of an emergency, I did have some milk because, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to die over this shit, man. <laughs> I don't milk, but yeah, just in case right just here, right case, here. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, in, but to win, I guess we're supposed to just not have anything. And then, and then so what we do is you got to chew it. Open a packet, put the whole nuts in your mouth. <laughs> that sounds pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, bad there. That sounded wrong. <laughs> I'll put your nuts in my mouth you know, <laughs> and then switch it around. And then you got to chew for like 15 seconds and you got to wait about a minute before you start the next package. But, you know, but we're going to be watching a video, a metal video while we're doing it. So then you know, we'll see how far we get to the video. We might pause it or end it and then, then go to the next. And then, But the last video we got to watch all the way through because that's, that's, I guess, the last packet. If we make it to that, we have to keep it in our mouth for fifteen mi- or for five minutes. <laughs> for five yeah, minutes that's the, that's, that's the that's stupid hot. Yeah, man. that's the stupid hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, maybe maybe the last video should have been Alice Cooper saying, "Hey, stupid." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah, we should have <laughs> been that song. <laughs> yeah, we should have loaded that one up. <laughs> oh yeah, the things we do, the things we do for metal, man. Yeah. Oh, let me uh, let me give people a little bit of a preview. So last year I did it on on my brother's podcast. I mean, my brother's podcast uh, when we had uh, Gen X brothers. I did the hot chip challenge, and that to me that was pretty brutal. You know, it was like we just do the one chip. Have you ever heard of that one? Yeah, they had the one chip challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I've been me... wanting to do that, and every time I go to get them, when I yeah. hear they have them here, they're always sold out. Yeah, and that's just basically Carolina Reaper with some scorpion. But let me show you a little preview of what I went through just to with that and then <laughs> give you kind of an idea of what we're going to go through with this take one big bite oh shit oh damn you're gonna you're crazy oh wow that looks pretty intense <laughs> right away when i see the right tears away, coming that's when <laughs> I'm feeling heat. Feeling heat. Mm-hmm. does it feel bad or is it just how's it but it's gonna sneak up on you right it's gonna think of oh shit <laughs> yep I'm fucking i guess crying. we should add a code word to fucking call an ambulance <laughs> i start getting hiccups when it gets right, really hot so that's yeah. when i know it's are you hot. gonna eat the whole thing or are you gonna wait a little bit mm-hmm. oh, fuck, man. <laughs> better you than me 
<laughs> Are we at five minutes yet? Shit, we barely started, <laughs> boys. You got ten seconds. <laughs> <sighs> I think my eyeliner is running, right? No, not yet. You're fine. <laughs> you look fine. <sighs> Are you okay? Metal voice. This is a, the, the coolest metal uh, metal okay. show on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Okay, where's those questions? You better do it fast well, before the thing goes out. When you fucking stood up and pointed to your chest, I thought you were fucking having a heart attack, so don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I was giving a shout out to metal voice. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, so that was pretty brutal, man. It, it, the shocking thing is I didn't even, like, have – uh, burn ass the next morning. You know, usually your ass is on fire the next morning. Yeah. But my stomach was a wreck, man. I was like having, like, after the whole thing was done, my stomach was like solely sore. <laughs> yeah. When it starts getting really hot, I, I start getting the hiccups. Hiccups. That's when I know it's really hot. So when yeah. I start getting the hiccups. You know? mm. Okay. But, so, so for level I'll one, be- what video do you think we should watch first? Uh, we got Go Let's Ahead go and Die. That. Go Ahead and Die. We'll do that one? All right. Yeah. And <laughs> since we're starting it off right. <laughs> All right. Let me do one more little bit of a time killer here. Uh, hold on. Just to sort of get in the mood here. The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world ladies and gentlemen uh, let's get ready to rumble <laughs> let's do this oh fuck man <laughs> all right let's see can we open it oh, does that smell bad hmm. Hmm. make it hard to open there's quite a bit in this pack. Yeah. Oh shit! Drop one on the floor. Okay, I'm emptying my pack. God oh, dang it! Don't rub your eyes, man. I know. Damn, there's a lot in this fucking pack, man. There's a lot in here, yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> this is just level one, and we're already scared. Go. broadcasting their message around the world from a radio tower in the remote Arizona desert. They urge global politicians to dismantle their nuclear arms, end worldwide wars, and imprison corrupt leaders. Let's cut to the protesters who have just launched this video. How are you feeling? I feel fine. It was really? it a sweet taste to it. Yeah, it's a little sweet, but how the fuck am I going to get to level two? You <laughs> wouldn't skip to go to five. <laughs> Huh? You 
okay? <laughs> I guess that little sweetness must be the, the chocolate part, huh? Uh, yeah, is that what it said, the chocolate? <laughs> No, it's oh, good. It's gone now. The, the, the spice is gone now. Maybe for you, it ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, that was that was a quick uh, quick flash, but uh, yeah, it's it's gone now. It's time set in, but uh, a little bit tingly on the tongue still, but uh, that's still it's all good. <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at number three and thinking, like, how am I going to get past number two? <laughs> what is number two? What is number two? Carolina Reaper and Ghost Peppers. Oh, that would be fine. Sometimes, Gar sometimes Ghost Pepper is hotter than Carolina Reaper. Yeah. Like when, I have those, when I have those Pocky Chips or whatever. Yeah, I feel like those are hotter than. than I don't know. That chip looked really dark. Looked like it's all packed on there. Yeah, that one I had that was pretty fucking. But that was Carolina Reaper. But when you get those uh, the packy chips in the store, the grocery store. Oh yeah, yeah, I got those. Is, yeah, those, are those, those good. Yeah, those those to me seem hotter than like the Carolina Reaper beef jerky that yeah. I bought before. <sighs> oh, I brought home some beef jerky from New Hampshire that were Carolina Reapers. Yeah, Woo, they were hot, man. I mean, they like stung. <laughs> it really stings eating that thing. So it looks like round one. If we're gonna score it, we definitely won this one because you recovered quicker than me. I'm still freaking. <laughs> I'm, still with... <laughs> I'm ready for round two. I'm ready for round two, man. All right, ready? Should we play it? Should we continue the same video? I'd say we continue the same video. Okay. All right, I'm going to open this and get a good whiff of it. Okay. Uh. Eh, it smell bad. I thought the other one smelled stronger. <laughs> All right. Let it, doesn't me know who, it doesn't say who said this, but it says, Paul, you're going to win this. Eric is hurting already. Yep, I am hurting already. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't show me the names of who's commenting. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, unless I look on my actual phone. You, you ready? Did yeah. You already, did you already eat them? No, no. Okay. Not I should have told you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Three. Is it just me or that one wasn't as hot? It's not as hot. It's sweeter. Yeah, you think that would be level one. Yeah, it tastes It'd pretty like, damn sweet. It's sweet, huh? Hey, we might be in good shape. You know, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's just her mouth is numb. <laughs> just so hey, Gary. So hey, Rock so Hey, Rock so David says we need a real garden grown Carolina Reaper. <laughs> well, that's yeah, Paul, that's the that one that almost killed me, man. Yeah, Paul said he ate one already. <laughs> Woo. That's Max Car Cavalier right there, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't bad, that one. 
Yeah, that one was not bad as the first one, man. That was that would that, that one we could probably call a tie between both of us. I think we're both. Yeah, good. I I think I think that was a trick, man. Yeah, that'd be a trick. This third one is gonna hit us. Yeah, yeah it's got Carolina Reaper, Chocolate Bruja, Brula, Brujala, and then Carolina Reaper powder. So it's got the peppers and the powder. With the, this one? Uh, yeah, the third one. Oh, don't inhale. Oh, don't inhale. Oh, shit. I'm going to open it just so. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my cat will come in here. Don't sniff it too hard. Yeah. Get it ready. Let me down, a, down some of this uh, orange here. <laughs> we should move on. That was almost done. That video. Who do you want to play next? Paradise Lost or Flesh God Apocalypse? You know what? Um, let's do some Paradise Lost. All right. <laughs> do an Ozzy and sniff. <laughs> If a line, yeah, we could snort the powder. <laughs> really. My eyes are watering. Yeah, not yet. Luck. This third one might do the job, I think. It says, post your video and show the world how tough your taste buds are. <laughs> yeah, well, we're definitely posting the video. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, if the feed goes down in Facebook, this is being recorded, so it'll be up on YouTube as a replay. Um, so fear not. My fear is that uh, after I get done, after we get done streaming, if Facebook notices any of these videos as being copyright, they'll probably block it or something, and I'll have to get rep reprimanded by the Facebook, by the fuckerberg, <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark Fuckerberg. But um, I'll probably delete it right after Facebook, or after we get it on. I'll probably, you know, leave it up for about 10 minutes and delete it. That way I don't get a notification. One of your views... Is muted due to being blocked. <laughs> but then, but everyone, you can still watch it on YouTube because I'll be uploading it right from there. <sighs> I'll upload it tonight. But yeah, are we ready for number three? Are you thinking what? We are ready for number three. Well, I got my milk just in case, man. <laughs> We're not supposed to. Yeah, I'm sitting here staring at my my Dr Pepper Zero and <laughs> my, my coconut water over here. So you got some coconut water at least. That's good. <laughs> Yes, as I can't, um, I don't drink milk, so I'm kind of screwed in that manner. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but just in case I need to uh, get rid of the hotness, I got a bag yeah. of dark chocolate here. <laughs> dark dark chocolate works. Uh, sweets, uh, yeah, it'll make the tongue feel better. Just let yeah. it melt on it. Yeah, salt actually works really well. Mm. If your tongue is burning, put salt on it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? Number four. <coughs> Hold on. Number three. Number four it actually says pain starts to set in, but like that's full of bullshit. <laughs> pain set in on the first one, man. <laughs> yeah, that first one was hotter, I think. Yeah, so we're on number three. We're gonna play some Paradise Lost as we're burning our mouth is getting lost. Uh, I'm putting my hands. Nice little chunk there. Yeah, you're brave putting in your hand, man. I just take it out of the bag. I don't want yeah. it to put anywhere on my hands. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All Three, right. two, one. Go. Hmm. Fuck, man. <laughs> That's not, wait, we're going to play some Paralyzed Lost.
How are we feeling? This one kind of, uh, this one kind of uh, got the tears a little bit here. Yeah, me too. So I still don't feel this as hot as the first one, though. I don't know no, maybe because of, maybe you know the first what? one. It's kind of making it's my nip. nose runny, though. Yeah, oh, but, I've had to uh, but still not that bad. I forgot to get the <laughs> tissue. I'm gonna use my Spider-Man shirt. <laughs> I've had some Thai chilies that's hot like that, so yeah, it's not unbearable. <clears throat> Won't lie, it does have heat, but it's not unbearable. <clears throat> yeah, those Thai chilies are fucking hot. I remember having some uh, Thai food the other uh, about a month ago. They have the different heat levels you could choose on the pad Thai. It was spicy, mm. and it Thai spicy. I was like, oh, Thai spicy. Let me try that. That's probably like not that hot. It was fucking hot as fucking hell, man. It was brutal I, hot. I had some papaya salad last night that was pretty hot. Yeah, uh, it was uh, Lao style, and uh, oh shit! And I told uh, told the person in Thai too to to make it hot in Thai. Yeah, <laughs> that usually sets it up. <laughs> yeah, how's your mom doing these days? I used to love that dish she made for me. Doing very well. She always asks about you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah good to hear. She Still living making in. food hot as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, be cool to see. Yeah, this one is a little bit hotter, guys. Yeah. Um, mm. not in your face hot, but it is sitting underneath my tongue. Yeah, it's definitely. It's like creepy, creepy. I, I do have a little it's like bit creepy hot. death, <laughs> but it's not unbearable. <sighs> you know, you know the reason why. It's hotter because you're chewing that whole bag. Yeah. You're swishing that whole thing around your mouth. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome if they made peanut butter like this. Oh, shit. That would be the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich, man. Uh, peanut. Have you ever put a hot sauce on ice cream yet? Like they say, like, this kind is supposed to be good on ice cream. I haven't put it on ice cream, no. I tried it a little bit. It's actually, sh shockingly, it's actually pretty good. Huh. Uh, yeah, like I tried it on vanilla ice cream. I didn't try this one. I had the, I have the blueberry uh, reaper sauce. Yeah, and I have that one. Maybe I should try that one. Yeah, put on some ice cream. Actually, it's, it's got a weird taste to it, but it's good. <laughs> like you would think it'd be totally gross. I usually <laughs> use the blueberry one when I make like pork tenderloin or pork chops. Oh, yeah. Put, it on, uh, put the blueberry one on uh, pork chops. It's really oh. good. Oh, nice. Huh. Yeah, man. You still you doing those smokers? You still got the smoker? Yep. Don't you you make those, right? Then you still make I haven't uh, made one in a while. Yeah. I mean you said you made me one, but I haven't gotten a way to get get it. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> I have to visit soon. I got a pellet stove recently, a pellet grill. Yeah. And it's just easy. You just push the button and <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Right. You know. But yeah. everything still tastes like um, wood burning. So it's oh, yeah, I just bought a cheap little charcoal grill the other day on Amazon. The small one, the twenty five dollar one. Yeah, it, it works, man. It, yeah, actually, you know, the best little grill you can buy and it'll last you forever is a, a little Weber Smoky Joe, man. Oh yeah, It'd be the best forty bucks you ever spend. Yeah, I have to look that up. I think will last forever. Rain, um, heat, whatever. What's it called? Smoky Joe. Bust out or anything? Is it a charcoal or is it a like? It's a, a charcoal. Yeah. yeah. It's called Smoky Joe's. A little round grill, hmm. but it's the best. Yeah. Let's get that. Yeah. Huh. It's heavy duty. Um, um, you know, the lid is like porcelain. The whole bowl and the lid it's got porcelain coated. So. Oh yeah. Bowl, yeah. And the grates are heavy duty grates, not these chintzy. Wire grates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it cooks uh, good too because it's in that, that bowl style that uh, Weber makes. So you can okay. even heat all the way around. Huh. Yeah. They're like they would used to be thirty five bucks, but since everything's gone up, I think they're forty bucks now. Oh yeah. Fuck man. Yeah. I'm out this bucket of fire. How about you? Uh, you know, it's calming down as sitting here talking now because it was like over here underneath my tongue, you know, where yeah. the thing is. That's what it was heating up at. And from what I understand, there's a 3.0. This is a 2.0 version of it. Yeah, so, I know. I seen that. I didn't know what version you were getting either. I was, yeah. Oh, I was really going to do this with, our, with my friend um, Draven last year, but he couldn't get his camera to work or whatever. So I sent him a package 
And I guess at that time I had sent him the 3.0 and I had the 2.0. I mean, he just told me today, he's like, all right, you sent me the 3.0 one. So <laughs> back if we would have done it back <laughs> then, it would have yeah. been like me doing the lesser one. But I'll, I'll tell you, um, when you're chewing this, do not let it hit your tonsils, dude. If it hits your tonsils, it's all over, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Really? You just got to make sure it doesn't fall back and hit that tonsil, man. Well, that's what it's been doing. I think that's probably why I'm coughing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How do you avoid your tonsils? I mean, that's where you're, isn't that where you swallow, Don't right? Don't swallow it until it's completely chew and then, then swallow. Don't let it scatter out the side of your mouth. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> your tonsils are here, so don't let it scatter it out there. Keep yeah. it. <laughs> I won't be singing for a while. I haven't been singing in a while anyway. <laughs> yeah, my fucking mouth is on fire. Actually, that's not bad now. We got number five, uh, number four. I can't believe I even made it to number four. Yeah, we're doing good, man. I was about we're to doing good. Four. I'm gonna open it just so we have it prepared. Sleeping in the fire. <laughs> I want to cover that song. Uh -huh. Oh man, love that song. Yeah. Oh shit! I can't get it open. I'm afraid to do it with my teeth because I'm. I'm not gonna bite it now. I got my little pocket knife here. Yeah, no, I should have brought a knife. They make it childproof. Yeah. I guess they kind of have to. <laughs> Just in case the kid wants to uh, do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Make make bad choices. Yeah. This one might Woo. get us, man. Huh? This one might get us, man. Yeah, I think this is the one that's going to take us out. <laughs> it's okay to cry as long yeah. as you finish it. That's all that matters. Is Roxanne sent it in some uh, hearts. I guess that's supposed to help us. Uh... <laughs> some people pray when we get hearts. So I take the hearts because I know it's going to, you know, we can feel the love. Um... I was thinking about going to see Jimmy's band play tomorrow, but they go on at seven though. I'm I forget that you guys tomorrow. live in kind of the same area, right? You guys, he... uh, he's up in Sonora. They're about okay. forty-five minutes from me, but yeah. I'm going to be up in Sonora tomorrow. So, oh, but cool. I don't know how long I'm going to hang out. If I stayed yeah. that late, I was thinking about going to see his band. Yeah, play. yeah, I saw some. Of the, he's, he shot me some video clips of them, and they're, they're really good. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, he's still as I, badass as ever on the bass. <laughs> I haven't seen him play in a long time, and I miss seeing him play, man. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely he still does. He still he still got it. If we can yeah. ever figure out a way to all of us to jam together one of these days, it's a... yeah, he's still still badass. Well, still remember that song you guys wrote that was like one of my favorites, man. Yeah. Hey Roxanne, you better. Hopefully Jimmy's watching this. He's probably on the road. Huh? He's probably working. <laughs> oh, he's laughing his ass off at us. Yeah, he's <laughs> probably like, you, you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Should we continue the same video? Uh, yeah. You, you want to, or do you want to go to something else? Some we've got flesh god. I was gonna say we got to save one of them for like last for the number five, which is uh, there's we got Celtic Frost and Hypocrisy. I believe videos we got left is the rest of Paradise Lost, Flesh God, Celtic Frost, and Hypocrisy. Ooh, I can barely talk as my freaking. <laughs> I can feel my stomach coming out. But... All right. Um, what do you want to do? So far, the the band I like that I've heard, well, Paradise Lost, I really like. I think I'm going to have to get some of their albums. I'm going to probably buy whatever album this song is on. Because I used to have them back in the day. I think I had them on CD. I just can't remember what album back in the 90s when they came out. Yeah, I think I got quite a bit out. There's one I, of those bands I lost. I, I couldn't even remember the name of their albums. You know, some of them like Direct Draconian. Yeah. And, um, but I just, there's great music on it. This yeah, never one of the bands that kind of like we sort of was inspired by. Like you know, we always tried to do the the heavy vocals and have oh, got to roll and then do the clean vocal choruses. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you say, like Nick Holmes, man, he's just uh, he's a yeah. killer vocalist. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you you gotta hear. Uh, you ever listen to um, Bloodbath? Uh, no. 
So Mikhail um, used to sing from, you know, the guy from Opeth. Yeah. Uh, the main songwriter, guitar and singer from Opeth. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. uh, he's the that was um, he was in that is his um, side project with the okay. rest of the guys. So after he finally um, left and uh, they were looking for singers, so they finally got Nick Holmes. That's who's singing for him now, and he's got some badass vocals on Bloodbath. And Bloodbath is just straight out death metal, it's just heavy, you know. Oh yeah, oh cool. Yeah, it's a killer. Uh, Kill a band, yeah. Check them out. You really like okay. it. Blood yeah. Path, okay. You know, check them out. Yeah, um, you know that whole Swedish, you know, death metal style. Yeah. If we, if I live through this, <laughs> I'll check. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> it might be your own your own blood bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got my little handful here. <laughs> Ready? Look how red they are <laughs> compared to the others. Remember the yeah, first ones? The first ones were like pale, like yellow or whatever. And then it gets red. Remember this? This is number four. Oh, we're in yeah. number four. The pain doesn't start setting in, huh? Yeah, that's what it oh, says. Yeah, there we go. This, this one is the powder and the... So what are we going to play? Are we going to play the rest of Paralyzed, or are we going to go into Flesh God or, or Hypocrisy? Or something cross? Uh, yeah. Let's do Flesh God, man. Okay, yeah, let's do that, man. Let's do some Flesh God. Flesh God apocalypse coming up. We'll wait, we'll wait until it gets a little bit... Let it let it play through a little bit, and then as yeah. it starts to pick up tempo, we'll we'll hit this thing. Uh, okay, okay. Because <laughs> it starts off kind of melodic. Yeah, I'm sweating, man. <laughs> you guys, um, a few months ago. Uh huh. Man, so you awesome. saw him live. I saw him live at San Francisco. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I saw him with. Um, Something new. Oh, yeah. But, um, most of the time, it's like, I do Whatever they do here, it's Yeah. <laughs> from the, um, the keyboard, the guitar. Sounds cool so far. Yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, they're in a Italian Okay. Yeah, I think I remember you might have shown them to me like about a year or two ago, but they're not about Italian from Italy. Okay, cool. Yeah. You ready to pop this in your mouth? Yep. Ready? ready put, these, put, put these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> these nuts. These nuts. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we ready? Go. One, two, three. Three. Pump your heart.
too bad. Yeah, it was like it's it's bad, but it wasn't as bad. I feel like it wasn't as bad as number. F- we're on number four, right? I thought number three and number one was the worst. Yeah, I feel like, and I still feel like number one was the hottest, maybe because it was yeah. the first one or something. But <laughs> this one wasn't bad, unless it's gonna fucking creep up on us later, man. We're gonna feel it in the morning, man. We're gonna have <laughs> <laughs> fucking flames and shit flying out of our Drink some my lanta, man. Yeah, we have to bring the fire extinguisher from the yeah. hallway into my apartment. Oh, you know what? Huh? Kind of creep. It's, it's a Starting slow. To creep? Man, it's a creeper. Roxanne said Jimmy's at rehearsal right now. She said she'll tell Jimmy that you might show up tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah. So now you gotta go. <laughs> if I survive tonight. Where are they playing? Like a uh, like a, a club I think or it's a park over there in or some park, yeah. Oh. yeah, by downtown. Yeah. Well, that's cool. What's the name of the band again? Remember? I don't remember. Yeah. It's a cool name from what I remember, but I don't remember. Yeah. I think you said they were working on original music too. I thought. I thought I oh, cool. I thought I remember him saying that a while back, but yeah. <sighs> Oof, fuck, what was man. the name of that song? You guys had something sleep. Who us? Yeah, that. Um, you said something about uh, sleep or one eye open, not sleep with one eye open. Oh, like we know us as Willow Wisp back in the day or something. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we just had a song called Sleep. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was about a person in a coma or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, it had seven hour, seven hour, seven hundred hour coma. I think it or was a seven. Yeah, hour? yeah, that's it. Yeah, I yeah. Love that song, man. That was I think awesome. I wrote that song on House of Rest that time. <laughs> yeah, that and Riddle of the Toy Maker. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Wrote that in on House of Rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mouth, bad. Yeah, this one's a creeper. It's it's coming up. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it says that uh, the pain sets in. It's yeah. creeping up on us. Tamarin, you got to get out of here. You're, you're going to catch on fire. She's like, yeah. Get out of here. No. I might have dropped a peanut on the floor. I don't want her to get it. <laughs> I can't see. Woo. <laughs> <sighs> the same oh burn permit is that is that a jimmy's band yeah that's it i think yeah appropriate name for what we're doing right now <laughs> yeah we need a burn permit <laughs> need it. Uh, quick give me the number to 911 <laughs> i know shit man i guess i went to bring in a fire extinguisher and mouth fucking shoot my mouth <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Uh, Woo! The it's sides funny. of my tongue is, is like numb. Yeah, it's still that that mem- right here, man, right underneath, right in there. Yeah, that's that's where it's at. I see some people do these challenges. They're like, they're like throwing up and shit. I haven't gotten that level yet. You know, I seen the the people that do the the fresh. Uh, reapers and they just yeah. sit there and damn, no, no way in hell, dude. Hell no, 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 I, I couldn't even do a hobbit. I could barely, I think I just started doing a habanero raw, like I could put like a habanero raw, like on a sandwich or something, but I haven't got to pass that yet. It's... I made some papaya salad one time and I thought it'd be funny to just use habanero chilies, fresh uh-huh. ones, and I put like 11 of them in there, yeah. In a little, you know, pile of papaya about this big. Oh, huh? Dude, my tonsils were like on fire, man. I think I took one bite and they were hurting so bad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> get out of here, Tamron. You're going to fucking... I, don't to... I, I can't rush you to the vet if you get some of this in your mouth. <laughs> I wonder what happened when the cat ate some of it. You think it would... You think they feel the same as we? Like, well, animal? we fed some to a deer... Oh yeah, uh, a friend of mine, a group of us were camping, uh-huh. and we were eating some chips with Dave's insanity sauce. Yeah, we were just putting on the chip and eating it. Yeah, and a deer decided to walk up to our campsite, so we decided to feed the deer. Oh shit! <laughs> and we ate it, and I thought the deer was just gonna get crazy and kick our ass. Yeah, and now I turn around. After about four or five chips, they turned around and they bolted for the lake for the water. 
Oh, damn, really? Yeah. <laughs> damn. But I thought it was going to go ape shit on us. <laughs> so, yeah. You so know, don't just, feed the animals, you know? Yeah. So they fucking feel, I guess, what we feel. And the fact that it's smart enough to, to notice, to know that water will take care of it. Yeah. Right. Well, we're not smart enough to know that we probably shouldn't eat this number five. Yeah. We should play a little bit more of this. <laughs> It's on the stage with them when she's doing their performance too. Oh yeah, the one guy looks like he's a like the guitar player of Cradle of Filth, the long-haired guy in Cradle of Filth. One of the guys look like him. Oh yeah, yeah. Kind of the, the same keyboard player. Thing. He's like crazy man live. Yeah, he, like comes out and he's the one that because um, they don't speak very good English. Uh huh. So um, the keyboard player does a lot of speaking. They speak in Italian, no. Yeah, <laughs> but man, it's. <clears throat> So they so come from the same place as a, yeah, a place where they even really that big, the DNA lounge. So the stage yeah. is pretty uh pretty tight, but they made mm. great use of it. Dang. What about uh they kind of remind me of their look kind of reminds me of Karak Ingram. You, you ever heard those? Guys? Um yeah, they to have that total look like that. Yeah, I like Karak Ingram. Those guys are due for a new album. Yeah. They're like total horror. Like well, I feel like a sneeze coming on, but I don't want to sneeze. <laughs> 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 Clench your sphincter. <laughs> so here we are at the number five level. <coughs> level, we made it to number five. Uh. Whoo! How long has it been since we started this? Huh? Uh, Phaedra, it's cool that all the original band is still <laughs> active in music in some way. With my other brothers, Tony, Eric, and then Jimmy. Yep. Uh, it's in our blood. We just gotta. We even torture ourselves with this freaking <laughs> heat just to, just for entertainment. Just for fun. Yeah, because we're definitely not getting paid for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's okay. By the way, we are not sponsored by these guys. Yeah, we're not sponsoring a. Nobody sponsored. Or my, and I'm not sponsoring Hellfire, even though I keep showing the Hellfire hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll give me a discount on the next bottle. Uh, but, the... but if you guys are watching these yeah. companies, if you are watching, yeah, give us an endorsement. We on... will not turn away any hot sauce or yeah, hot food items. We we love the hot stuff. Yes, love it. Hot, 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 hot. Like Man, I've still been trying to find that. Um, I got some of that ghost chili um, pickle chips. Oh yeah, you know okay. that. Uh, you know the the actual pickles that go on the your yeah. Uh, hamburgers. Yeah, yeah. Ghost chili one. Yeah, it is so good on the burger, man. So they're actually pickles, but they're dried or something. No, no, they're actual pickles, and then they got actual like... ghost chili inside the oh, jar with oh, them, okay. it's all chopped up. So oh, okay. you it's yeah. infused itself. Okay. I and, uh, at, the, at the store, was... and when you take that first bite, you feel it. <laughs> okay, but it's yeah. actually good. 
So I did have some. I wanted hot. to do that challenge with you because I wanted you to drink the juice. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an actual challenge for it. Then they have like the is the hot pickle challenge or something. No, we're gonna mix it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, we should do I'm that. I'm <laughs> trying to find it. Um, I found this one at Rayleigh's, and um, yeah. I thought we would carry it all the time, but evidently mm. uh, not. And we're still be trying to find it when I go to these places. Yeah. See if I could find it. When I hit um, a thousand, when I hit a thousand subscribers, we'll do that one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I pickle told, juice uh, is good for you. So. Yeah, I told Draven when we because he missed out on this one because he didn't have his camera. But I said, well, we'll, we'll do that three point oh one. We'll do that. I'll, maybe when I hit six hundred subscribers, we'll do the the three point oh of, of this. That's the challenge. That's got to be a little bit harder than this. <laughs> Has to be. I, I wonder what the three point oh is. Uh, how many levels are left? This just one level left. Number five. Yeah, Can't believe you even made it this far, man. I'm curious what are these uh what is it called? Something uh what's the number Capsium crystals? Yeah, the like capsium capsium is what I guess is what causes the heat, right? I think that's yeah. what the and that's why like people drink milk because milk is supposed to like kind of cut down on the capsium. You yeah, can yeah. read that. They say it's 13 million Scoville. 13, yeah, 13 million Scovilles. No. Now I got some um, I don't know if you have a hot sauce, you ever heard of hot sauce three fifty seven? <clears throat> whatever and it's got a bullet. oh yeah yeah i got some I got that. that's that's just fucking hot. like just a little tip on your finger your fucking mouth is going crazy i got this <laughs> stuff called uh the end um okay. i bought it when i was in new orleans um i tried it out and yeah. i had to sign a waiver just to try it out on the chip oh damn so i ended up uh buying the bottles a little bottle about that big yeah have yeah, it I in my collection um, i got one called god slayer God Slayer is about that big, a little bottle. <laughs> it's called God Slayer. Yeah, and then I also got the Possessed hot sauce. Oh, yeah? The, yeah, the man I, possessed? I got two bottles of that. Leanne got me two bottles, so one for me to try and one for my collection. It's from the band Possessed? Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, cool. Have to get that. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty cool bottle, too. You know what I really like, and he don't, I don't think he sells anymore, he discontinued, is, is a, not J.J. French, but a, Eddie O'Jada from Twisted Sister. Uh-huh. He had a Carolina Reaper with uh, peaches, like, and I don't really care for peach flavored stuff, but his that hot sauce was so good on everything. It was, and it wasn't like super hot; it was hot enough, had yeah. like a nice bite to it, but it just had such good flavor to it. Like, it tasted so good on tacos and just about anything. And yeah, like, like I want some more. I gotta make some more of my uh, my wheat and death sauce. Oh yeah, I still got, got that logo for you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make some more of the hot sauce. But the thing is, is that. I don't buy the peppers. Those are homegrown peppers. So yeah. that means I got to grow some more peppers in order to do that. What you got to do is do some pre-orders. No, I guess you have to I was gonna say, like, you know, just to get the peppers grown. Yeah, I made some for this guy that has a barbecue business, and he wanted me to um, make him some more. Yeah. But I made that batch for him because his, his wife actually grew some peppers, and she gave it to me, and I made him a batch, and they really liked it. Mm. Yeah. He does barbecue catering. Oh you know, yeah, smoked meats and all that, and it was mm. perfect uh, pairing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So if you make weeping death like today, especially with all these new peppers out and stuff, are you going to add anything to it, or are you just going to keep the same recipe? Or um, I would probably same recipe and then just change the chili. Yeah. In it, um, maybe do two a couple different variations, like a hot one. And a well, super hot one. Um, there's the sweet death that I did that <clears throat> yeah. cut a little bit. Um, I was doing it with apricot, mm. yeah, you know? I've had that in, in yeah. So maybe, um, I might cut it with a different fruit or something, you know, like blueberries, or I don't mm. want to do plum and people would get the shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it wouldn't be putting prunes in there. You know? <laughs> yes, well, you're right. <laughs> hot already, and then, and then you don't want to get the shit on. Yeah, top, you get, you you know? fucking diarrhea, fucking hot diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? We should uh, blame it hot diarrhea. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's something that we sh we should consider, and then we make it and uh, make it a uh, a, well, yeah. a co uh, co thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, we could uh, we could do the sauce and stuff like that. Yeah, let's do uh, it. make it and then bottle because uh, yeah, uh, banning the bottle was a hard thing, but now you could buy those wax kits that you yeah, can, like how they do uh, like Maker's Mark. They just wax uh -huh. the top. That's what okay. Possessed did with their hot sauce. Okay, so you don't have to worry about banding it. You just dip it in the wax and it seals the lid. Oh yeah, hmm. yeah. And then also and, like with the label, you just put the label on the bottle or whatever. And yeah, just label the bottles, thicker mm -hmm. paper or um or 
Um, what your design is and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Your design. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Something to consider. Yeah. It's really easy to do. Um, just, uh, you know, you're going to burn off some eyebrows, some, <laughs> you know. So coming yeah. soon is Weeping Death from Paul. Weeping Death and Sweet Death. And Sweet Death, yes. Yeah. And we will have to do a, uh, a challenge yeah, action yeah. video as we sit here. Yeah. So we do now. Uh-huh. <laughs> For it. <laughs> and we'll debut it on the on the metal block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. All so, right. Uh, this one we gotta play the whole video, huh? Yeah, we gotta play the whole what are we gonna do? Are we gonna hold something frost video, we're gonna play the whole Yeah. Uh, so this video? is a dying god yeah. coming into uh what is it, human flesh? Yeah, yeah, from the monotheist album, which is like my yeah. favorite. So this is about what we're gonna feel like right here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll through this transition. I That's won't lie. Favorite. That's my favorite. Is you say Celtic Frost or you say Celtic Frost? You know what? I've That's always said Celtic Frost, even though I know it's pronounced Celtic Frost, yeah. but I you know, I was thinking like this Celtic like Frost. Yeah. And, and the reason why like you know, the we always said the Boston Celtics. I never said the Boston Celtics growing yeah. up. Yeah. If I Celtic. said Celtic, I'm expecting a K, not a C. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's like yeah. we just go by what we taught in school. <laughs> so I'm going with Celtic. Yeah, Celtic Frost, <laughs> damn it. Oh, you purists out there! No, it's Celtic Frost. One of my favorites all time. Yeah. Wish I ever got. I wish I got to see them. You know. I yeah, me too. Yeah. And uh, rest in peace, Martin. Tom Warrior yeah. was following me on Instagram on my old account, and then my stupid thing got hacked or whatever. And I was, I'm following him back, but he actually followed me back back then on that one. But uh, I was hoping he'd like refollow me on this one. <laughs> yeah, I wish um, Trypticon would release some th something soon. You know. Yeah. yeah. I get the last time they put out the live one with the orchestra. It was badass. Yeah, this just like Celtic Frost, man. Um, yeah, on his, um, mm -hmm. you know. And he was doing Hellhammer a little bit. Uh, there with Mia, one yeah. of my favorite bands. Oh man, love Mia. Yeah, fucking Mia. awesome, man. The She's presence, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. She's got a cool stage presence, cool look. You know, so I'm always posting her shit on my Facebook. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, she's such a cool looking person and. Yeah. That's she's metal, man. Yeah, and she really glad is. I got, yeah. Glad I got to see Nervosa with her in it <laughs> last year. Here we go. Look All how right. those are, man. <laughs> cut this open, man. I haven't even cut it open. We've yet. been doing this shit for an hour, man. Fucking, uh, <laughs> we're trying to kill time and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but well, the moment of truth has arrived. Who will survive? Yeah, come one survivor. Time, and one will perish. My knife doesn't even want to go anywhere near it. Yeah. You got yours open. Oh my god. Uh, Woo! This one, this song is called Celtic Frost, a dying god coming into human flesh. <laughs> Put the banner on there. Yeah, man. It's just brutal, man. Ready to feel the pain? Ready. <laughs> All right. Got the sniffle. I know, me too. Whew. I'll just toss me over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and I look back, Cameron's freaking dying and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <sighs> That's what I'd get for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, people. Here we go. One. Two. two. Three, Three. Salute. Salute. Oh. Uh. 
This is going to hit us. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Starting to. Yeah. in my stomach <laughs> like worse in my mouth the fuck you got that beanie I still, I still on. said the fresh one is a lot hotter yeah me too I think Survived it. I think, yeah, Great someone else. 
We can drink now? I don't know. It says you're supposed to... <laughs> Uh, are we supposed to wait? For, well, has it been full five minutes? I guess. Well, what's the whole video? The whole video is about five minutes, over five minutes, huh? Yeah. Was that the whole video? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. I don't know. Whoever drinks first loses. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I think you won though, because someone, someone asked, can we officially, Pedro asked, can we officially announce the winner? I can barely oh. talk. <laughs> so, I, I think Paul's got this one. He seems like he's handling it way better than me. <laughs> I got some tears. Yeah, I got some burping. I got, I can barely, I can barely breathe. Yeah, but I'm telling you that the fresh one is hotter. Yeah, I think the first one was hotter too. Huh. That was good. Okay, well, I got another pack. We're gonna start number number one all over again. <laughs> oh heck no! <laughs> no I don't got another pack. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Uh. Uh. What do you think? You think we deserve a drink? Yeah, <laughs> or... I think we deserve a drink, man. <sighs> oh. I wouldn't. I would pour this all over me if I didn't want to. What is that? that Buttermilk? <laughs> Just regular two percent. <laughs> Nobody drink almond milk, but I have in the fridge. Oh. Almond milk wouldn't do the trick. Ugh. It's been sitting out a little bit, so it's not not as cold. Ugh. I think I'll drink the water. I got me some water. Woo! That's good. So I'm gonna announce Paul beat me. I hate to I hate to admit a defeat, but I, I I really think Paul handled this way more than I did. Woo! I think that's something to do with his race being Thai, you know, half Thai. Because you guys eat all that spicy stuff, right? The white half of me is the one that's got the tears coming out. <laughs> yeah, the white half crying. <laughs> Oh man, who's gonna? Who said that? I'm gonna get a greenhouse and grow you some peppers. That was uh, Pedro. <laughs> well, you know, they said that Pepper X is supposed to be the. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for that. Uh, what's his name? Ed Curry's the guy that created or something. Mm-hmm. That's he said that again. Yeah, he said the Guinness Book of World Records. He said they've been recording for the past what two years. I read about that, and he said that it just hasn't gotten to. Uh, they haven't like actually announced it or, or made it official. Well, we just ate a pack that said 13 million Scoville, man. Yeah. And we survived. <laughs> we did. No one perished. I, I said there would be one food. survivor and one would perish, but nobody would win. <laughs> I got to eat a piece of bread. Yeah. Oh, shit. I should have brought, broke up my bread. <sighs> just to um, soak up the blood that's in my stomach right now, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go into work tomorrow too. I'm gonna to fucking. I'm gonna be shitting in the shitter all day at work. <laughs> you have clients, or you just doing clients? A small group, like a little, or Saturday group, mm. group therapy, whatever. There's about four or five people. But I'll promote. It. I'll say, hey, you guys want to check? You want to see your uh, counselor uh, burn his ass off? Uh, check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Why I uh, yeah. take care of some business? Well, yeah, download my music and. Check out Paul's stuff. Oh, man. You still got my mustard guitar? You still got my mustard guitar? No, I don't. I don't know who ended up with that. I thought you had the body of it still. It's like the last time no. I was at your house. I wish I did. Huh. Or was that Jude? I think Jude ended up with it. I think I remember Jude saying that. My guitar had, had the best action ever. Yeah. <laughs> Seville. Well, there was no fret on it. It was so worn out. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish I had that guitar. Uh, it was an old Memphis. Eh? Yeah, it, it was a, it was a, it was a Seville actually. Was oh, Seville. Yeah. yeah. Bought it from Jimmy Tucker's brother. Remember, <laughs> Vance. Jimmy, he always, Jimmy, he always come up. Jimmy, get fast. He fit it. <laughs> he always make fun of it. Mm -hmm. Vance. Roxanne, what's Vance up to these days? <laughs> That's Jimmy. What's your brother-in-law up to? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a cool guy. Oh, yeah, that's probably my real first real guitar because he was like, he was in a pawn shop and he was like, Hey, you want to, you can get this out for like 40 bucks or whatever it costs to get out of the pawn shop because he wasn't going to have it no more or something. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's how I got it. And I was like, Yeah, hell yeah. So I got my grandma, Grandma, give me 40 bucks. I'm going to get a new <laughs> guitar. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. yeah, the rest is history. 
had a guy sell me a pawn tick pawn shop ticket for 20 bucks oh yeah to get a guitar out and uh i went paid to get the guitar out it's 80 bucks oh. to get the guitar out and it was like a 1500 dollar jackson guitar damn really it was a uh, Actually, it's probably more than that. It's probably a couple thousand now because it was yeah. a American series, neck through body. And okay. they had some paint of, uh, um, you remember uh, Lost in Space, the original Lost in Space? Yeah. yeah, yeah. some paint on it. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, that's kind yeah. of like me. I had a $900 Jackson uh, when I was living, before I became homeless, and I had it in a pawn shop forever and ever. And, and you know, I was lost a pawn shop ticket, and I had like two days. I had no money, and I was you know, already going to fly here to Portland or whatever, and just couldn't get it. You know, just uh, I had to pretty much leave it behind in the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. So somebody must have bought it for whatever they charged for it. It was there's a guitar that I never hardly used. I never played it live because it was such a nice guitar that you know it was just Strat or yeah, it was like a dink I think it was a dinky or whatever, but oh, it was like dinky? one yeah. of the more expensive ones. Yeah, like the guy that sold it to me for four hundred said he paid nine hundred for it. But I don't know. Wow, I have a. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, that one went up the nose. Oh man! Uh, was... <coughs> you lost. You sneezed. You lost. <laughs> Forfeit. Um, <laughs> I'm the winner now. I have a Jackson uh, Phil demo uh, series. Yeah, his, uh, his signature. Um, nice. It's like an Explorer. It's really yeah. nice. Mm. Uh, I paid like nine hundred for it, brand oh, yeah. new. Hmm. I did a uh, video for uh, unboxing. Okay. I unboxed it. I yeah. played it. Stuck it right back in the box. Still in the box. Oh yeah. <laughs> back in its original box, and I wrapped it up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been out since then. It came out that one day. That was it. And I oh, yeah? it and did a video with it, and that was it. <laughs> did you put the video on YouTube or is it on your Facebook? <laughs> it's on my Facebook. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, I don't think about it. I've even seen it probably back when you black and red explorer is really nice. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's been in the box since then. I haven't opened it up, huh. since then. I kept it in there. It's too pretty. How many guitars you got now? Now, took off all my prints, huh? How many guitars you got now? About 50? <laughs> uh, what do I have left now? 12, 13? Yeah, yeah, got a few of them in the closet hmm. there that's in their cases and in boxes. Yeah, and then uh. I got one, two, three that I'm finishing. I haven't completely finished yet. I built this guy, and I'm not done yet. Right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I even put the uh, yeah. Halen style, the headstock on here. Oh, it's like a Kramer headstock or something. <laughs> yeah, the Kramer headstock. And um, I, was never a, I was never a fan of the Telecaster shape or whatever. Yeah. I, you know, I was never was either. And look, yeah. the Ouija board. Uh, oh, oh cool. Back here. Yeah. I never was either, but I just I wanted know. one to uh, just, just to play have. with. That's why I, I kind of just yeah. don't get my, my, myself to the way I want it. I'm sure if I had one, I'd probably like um, it. <laughs> actually, I have the pickups sitting right there. All I got left to do is put the pickups in and, and wire it. Everything else is done already. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've already assembled it. This is actually a actually the black one going on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the guitar so, got uh, this one was just a uh, just for me for the measurement to put it in there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that guitar I got up there on my dresser. It's like the Black Dean. <clears throat> it's a cheap one I bought for eighty bucks, and um, but it's like my favorite guitar to play. But I just got to get it restrung and set up. Here's another one. Um, building. Oh, okay. It's a SG. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Right here. Huh. So this one, this is the next one to finish. Yeah. So that's like my hobbies, you know. Um, I have a seven string uh, uh, LTD that I'm re uh, redoing all also over here. Oh damn! That I got to finish. Um, I have a seven string Warlock that's really nice. Mm. Uh, so never got into the seven string guitar yet, but probably will eventually. <laughs> um, you got a five string bass. I, I got an Ibanez one just to mess around with it, you know, and uh, they're not that easy to play. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, they are easy to play if you're just going to stick with playing power chords on your, yeah, you know, yeah. sticking with the low string. But when you go to play your other chords, yeah, 
that seventh string really confuses you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get confused on the fifth string. You know, not when you naturally go to play a G chord or yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not it, it it confuses you. Uh -huh. it's, you know? <laughs> Is it a low B string or something like the it's bass? It's a low B, yeah. Yeah, huh. yeah, it's low B, yeah. Yeah, hmm. it's heavy as hell. Yeah, I bet. You know? I mean that the tone from that from that low B. I mean, because when I was in the infestation, we are already tune down the B anyway. Yeah. You know, we had to raise our actions on our guitars just to keep the tension on the string. Yeah. <laughs> and we finally because um I prefer to be C within C. Yeah. E C sharp, you know, I like I like that tuning. That's about perfect. Yeah. I don't know, know, like D flat, you know, C sharp about as low as I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, then you could just drop down to B if you want. You know. Yeah. D flat is is good. You yeah. know um but i don't i don't want to go any lower than that yeah it gets all wobbly and shit. <laughs> yeah ex exactly and you know it's and also um the tone can get kind of muddy too yeah yeah so if you're going with the seven string you don't have to worry about that you know mm -hmm. it's all right so you want that you know that low b sound you're gonna have it and it's gonna sound yeah good. hmm all right well we got through level five everyone looks like we're gonna Go uh, flush our freaking guts out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the uh, whoever makes it to the shitter first is gonna is the is the winner. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's the one part that might be regretful later. Yeah, in the morning we'll have to give ourselves some updates. Uh, <laughs> so how's your ass feeling? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But we survived yeah. it, man. Yeah. This is a so. Totally was it as right. bad as we thought it was? Yeah, I, I, I don't think, think it was really... expected. Yeah, I don't think it was as brutal you know, as I was expecting. This... I thought it was going to be a lot worse, actually. Yeah. After that first one, I thought for sure we were fucked. Yeah, because after that first, I was thinking, there's no way. I was even looking at the other packets. I'm thinking, I'm, I was even in my mind thinking, I should just back out now. <laughs> I was, after that first one, I was like, man, we should just go straight to number five. And be <laughs> yeah. with me, you know? Oh man! Because uh, all we're doing is just letting it build up, build up. You know, I'm still getting little bites on my cheek. You know, whenever I laugh or something. <laughs> no, it's 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 just tingling right there yeah, on that membrane right. on my tongue. That's yeah, it. Right Everything right. else is gone. Yeah, I feel a little bit in my stomach here. Yeah. Um, that's how I was when I did the hot chip. I was thinking like it was gonna be way more brutal. I thought I was gonna be thrown up and everything, but it was like it was hot as fuck. But it was just like my stomach was the main thing that was more painful. When stomach. when I did that Carolina chili, dude, I'm telling yeah. you, I took it with a straight face. I chewed it with straight face. It was nothing. We hung on to like two minutes before we drank anything. Mm. And uh, like I said, I don't drink milk. Uh, my buddies that I did it with, they grabbed the milk. I yeah. grabbed the ice cream. Uh -huh. uh, I couldn't even taste the cold on the ice cream. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, I felt like it was like like warm melted ice cream Damn. so and then about 10 minutes after that you know i thought i was fine right yeah about 10 minutes after that it felt like somebody took a hot like scolding iron rod and stuck it in my stomach because oh the shit. stomach really bad yeah i got real pale and dizzy mm -hmm. and uh, i did this at work too yeah <laughs> But you know, if it would have been wrong, anything would have went wrong. Urgent care was there, so yeah, at least you're right there. <laughs> so as a, as I you know, then I sat down right, and my my other buddy that did it with me, he got really lightheaded. He's a big guy too, big tall yeah. guy. He got lightheaded. So mine, my stomach was killing me. And I thought, shit, dude, I'm probably going to have to fucking, you know, call the code on myself. Yeah. So I asked a friend that was filming it if he could go up to my desk and grab me some Tums. He came back with a handful of Tums, and I just threw it all in my mouth, and it literally felt like somebody just poured water on the fire. <laughs> yeah. So it worked really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It killed it. Went away. Yeah. So I came home. I think I some time. hours later, it freaking came back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. But then it eventually went away. But yeah. since then, I had nothing to look forward to anymore that was hotter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did I want to do it again, ever. Yeah, I actually you, learned my lesson from that you one. Set the bar, man. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, our, both of us were like, what the heck we're going to do now? Because we're always seeking out hot stuff, you know? Yeah. I was like, all right, well, we'll just seek out hot stuff with good flavor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kids. We're going to call it. And um, Paul is the winner. He's the metal god of hot, of heat. Thank you. Fire, thank you. The god of thunder. That was fun. Yes. We're going to do yeah. it again eventually with some more hotter shit. We'll do some more challenges. Anybody else want to challenge Paul or me? Let's go. <laughs> Start with the Eric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know you're going to win against me easily. <laughs> Woo. All right, everyone. Until next time. Horns up and peace out. Peace out. Hey, let me see how I get this freaking in this thing. Beep, 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 beep. In bright.